recording? Is it working? We can edit this out later, can't we? Okay, let's make a start. Hi, this is Nora and welcome to my new show. As you know, there are a lot of new people in the wasteland and what do people need? They need homes. So I have started a real estate agency. Now, I'm going to be giving you tours of great places to build, homes that maybe need a little TLC and fixing up. But also, as it's been a few months, some people have already started to build homes and want to move on to greener pastures. So today, for the first episode, I'm showing you a beautiful home in the Cranberry Bog. So I'll give you a quick tour. If I can unlock the door. Larry, didn't you talk to him about this? As you may have noticed, we are in the Cranberry Bog. It's a beautiful location, although it can be a bit lively. So make sure that you keep lots of turrets. Mr Jones, who owns this property, has built a very comprehensive workshop here down at the bottom. And in here we have a fully fitted bathroom. Well, sort of. I think there is a tank for the shower and I haven't actually asked where the sewage goes, but I'm sure it's... He used to be a plumber, so before the bombs fell, Mr Jones was a very accomplished plumber, so I'm sure all the plumbing in this house is perfectly fine. But if you want more details, please let me know. I'm afraid we do have quite a hike up the stairs. Larry, you better not have that camera focused on my ass. Well, at least it will keep you fit. And I'm reliably informed this structure is completely sound. But if you'd like to get an independent survey, please let me know. Looks like it might rain later. Oh God, I told him to be out. I told him to be out. He's a complete nut job. It'll put people off. Oof. Clean up this, fix that. Oh dear. Oh, it never seems to end. Right, Larry, cut it here. I'll go talk to him. As you can see, once we get to the top. There are beautiful views across the Cranberry Bog. I still don't know where you got this drone from, Larry. Let's just hope it works. This house has been built into the top of the monorail. It is quite small and bijou. Um, as I said, Mr. Jones has built this himself. It's quite sturdy. And if you're worried about broken glass, apparently these are toughened perspex, so no broken glass to worry about. As I told you earlier, Mr. Jones was an accomplished plumber. He currently makes money scavenging and trading and selling things on to people in Foundation and Crater, I believe. Although he's currently relocating to Foundation as apparently he's, he's met a young lady he'd like to settle down with. And she didn't fancy moving out here? I can't think why. Most of the accommodation is on this level and it's open plan. I think I'll hang on to the drone, Larry. There's not enough room in here to swing a mole rat.
I believe the wallpaper is home crafted using brown paper and a stamp. I'm sure that's included in the purchase price. Behind us here is the very well established city of Watoga. If you haven't been to Watoga before, please be careful. I suggest you pop in to see the mayor because the robots can get a bit rowdy. Wood panelling here done by Mr Jones. Upstairs we have a balcony where again you can take in the lovely views possibly not of the train yard but maybe we'll just pan across this way more there's even some space up here for a few crops The property, I believe, has been welded onto the monorail at the top and the bottom and is completely secure. There's great communications. Mr Jones has wired in a satellite dish. I believe that's coming with the property as well. There is a small fitted kitchen. You could probably get a bigger stove up here, but obviously there may be um, issues with weight and um, lugging it all up all those stairs. But I think this property has a lot of potential. Mr. Jones is currently asking for 40,000 caps for this property. You will have a deed of ownership. and you too can enjoy the peace and quiet of the Cranberry Bog. So if you're interested in this property, please let me know. Mr. Jones is open to offers. So please hit me up on my pit boy or drop into the office near Charleston. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.